I've been box training this morning. I got PJ in her box, and there you go. That a boy, PP, and I decided to let uh, Bo ride in the box. I want him to get used to riding in there and not hollering like PJ does. He's doing good. Where he's going now? Man. Come on, let's run for a minute. We gotta let PJ out. I ain't gonna let them out a lot together just yet because PJ goes crazy over him. All right, let's let this pretty girl out. <laughs> she gone. She gone. I put Bobo up and let you run around. Turn off some energy. Morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, and Bo, Hollis Farms. It has cooled off overnight. Started yesterday evening. Come on, you better burn some energy off. Hadn't been down to Mississippi in a few days. Come down, last time I came down, I had a camera that the batteries was dead. Now they're in there, char they'll be charged up by now. So I'm gonna at least kinda Kind of gave the turkeys time to get down and do whatever they was going to do. And I'm going to ease in here in a little bit. I want to do just a little bit of walking. I feel pretty good this morning. And uh, do a little bit of walking and put this camera out and see if I can see a turkey track. And uh, yeah, just wanted to come down. Let PJ run around. It's a handful of two the whole thing. But it'll be a lot easier. It's just that, hey girl, that first year with them is, hey baby, come here. It's so important, and we're going to really do that with Bo, and we've done that with PJ. But anyway, we're going to make a day of it. Come on, PJ. Well, it's supposed to rain today, but I thought it was going to be after lunch. But it decided to do it now, and it's a cold rain, and I just really don't want to get soaking wet. So I'm going to think about something. If it kind of stays like this, I think I'll just get in the Lexus and ease up there and maybe do some walk. I don't know what I'm going to do. Gummit, I wasn't wanting this rain, nor was I wanting it to be 40 degrees this morning. I was hoping I was done with my bogging, but I knew better. I knew better. What you doing? What you doing, crazy? All right, y'all, I didn't bring a raincoat. This is all I had was this little down coat because it was supposed to rain later. It is uh, cool. I've got my camera with me. Been to do a little walk and probably get me about a, mm, probably about a three quarter mile by the time I go and come back. So I'm gonna see it see how that feels feel pretty good this morning actually feel better in this cooler weather but uh try to get this done before we get soaking wet at least do something need to be walking a little bit more than i've been doing anyway i've just been hurting so bad i hadn't done it I'm fixing to now they run that dozer down through here just a little bit when they burn that right there got it slicked off pretty good All I got on is my little boots. I got a big old water hole down here. I gotta figure out how to get around. Boy, I like that. It. It's already some little green shoots popping up in there. Boy, it's gonna be good, y'all. I wanna get this side looking like that side this summer. So we got a lot of work to do, but it's gotta dry out first. All right, y'all had a pretty good little walk. Got my camera put out. Probably walked about a three quarter of a mile or so. Little stiff walking, you know, I kind of want to walk straight up. Felt pretty good though. But um, I tell you what, I believe I could go a little faster if a turkey was gobbling. I believe we'd be just fine. I'm not sure if I ever get sat down beside a tree, I can get up. <laughs> we'll figure that out when we get there. We'll just have to sit there when we get there and call somebody to come get us up. But had to shoot him, but we're gonna be all right. I got my hands full with two of these things. 
but we're gonna get it worked out. All right, so here I am in town. I had to run by the office and see Brian for a minute. Now I'm back on the other side of town. I am got to run by Dick's. Dick's Sporting Goods real quick. All right, old Bo just had him a little snack, didn't you? Eating good, boy. All right, come here, PJ. PJ. I try to let these play together just for a minute, a little bit every day. PJ is pretty rough, just because she's uh, she's just she's really pretty easy on him, and he's getting pretty feisty. It won't be long. She just leaks him to death and gets him soaking wet. Easy girl, easy, easy, be easy. He listen at him growling. Get him, get him. Hey, hey, be easy. It don't take long to get tired, does it? Get you some exercise. Get you some exercise. Well, I took my old boggin off in the truck for, and put my hat on. I got out. Boy, it's still cool. Still like 49. Old bald head. I had to put this boggin back on. All right, so I still got a little rubbing action going on on the Lexus. I might have to turn my wheels. What are you doing, Bobo? This little tit right here. See that right there? I think this right here is making some of my noise. I could about peel that off, but why not? And I think I'm gonna have to trim a little bit right there. Maybe a little, some of that. But it's about to work itself out, ain't it, Bobo? All right, let's see if we can get in here. I'm getting there, I'm gonna leave that right now. Every time I cut something, I listen to it. All right, so on our little shopping trip to uh, Dick's, God, I'm awful sometime. I wanted a pair of gloves. I like this Nomad stuff. I already got the finger cut out and sewed up. That's what we like to wear. Got y'all a little high, so. Anyway, got a pair of gloves. We're gonna have a new turkey hunter going with us this year. So, we uh, got a couple of things. We got two masks. It's just like a pull over deal and then you set it where you want it on your face and and uh draw string it i really like that and i have problems if I, oh it's got a little deal in here to make it a little rigid if i put most mask up over or under no over my nose and breathe and it's cold my glasses fog up these i can see through so they're gonna do that good and uh i've been watching some people I bought me some camouflage material. I'm thinking about making a, cutting me a piece. This is gonna be way too big. This is, uh, whoa, 12 foot by 56 inches. That's big enough to make a blind like they got in the picture. But I'm gonna cut some of that and try to be real light and have it in my vest. And we can, uh, I think I wanna drape some over the front of the camera. I'm gonna try to do a little better camouflaging at that and be real light, won't even know I got it. And, uh, we got a new turkey hunter that's going to go with me and Cody sometime. Probably won't wear a vest. So I, I had a seat there. Had a little uh, carabiner on it so we can clip it on our belt buckle. And I might even use that choker. So, got a few things right there. You know, some folks may think, get y'all a little straighter, that I spoil my youngins. As in Cody. If that'll stay right there, that might be all right. Oh, I'm all about, when I was growing up, there wasn't as much to choose from, but I, my dad, all in baseball, if we needed a glove, or most of the time, he, he pretty much he did what I've done with Cody. I buy him a good one to start with. Cody, I got him a cheaper Wilson when we started it. Shoot, had it forever, and he's still using it, and I've got the A2000 in my Mizuno, and when we get the A2000 broke in, that'll be Cody's glove pretty much for Till he's done most likely so i like good equipment i'm not spoiling him he uses y'all know how much we hit um he has about his goods bat. i did mess up last year that goods bat it's just a little big for him a lot of the guys on the team use it and that is perfectly That's fine why i buy them i want everybody to use them if they all well, i don't care whose bat they use if they use cody's whatever we're gonna wear them out and i told him after we did the bat challenge that if he went back to his uh, little short bat, his 28, uh, 
meta or whatever it is, I'd get him another one because a lot of the team uses it, especially the little guys, and uh, we gon' we gonna wear it out. It's cracked and busted. The end comes out. We still gonna use it. It's fine, but I couldn't make my mind up, and I'm I'm pretty bad. But I'm all about winning. And I'm all about the team. We got two bats today. This is the the uh, 2022 version of the goods. It's silver. Pretty good looking bat. Feels good. It's got a, it's gonna have, it says it's got a big sweet spot. We'll see. This is the 29 drop 10. I really like the feel of this bat. But I had a guy come in there and tell me, I asked him, I said, what would you buy? He said, if you want one that's gonna be really good, but they're bad about breaking after a couple of months, but these things have got super warranty. I just sent my warranty back with Dick. So basically buy it one time and you bust it and you get another one. But this is a uh, DeMarini, CF if I'm saying that right. That's the D Marini, the goods, and you can see the difference. There's an inch difference. This is a 28 and they're all drop 10, so 29, 19, 28, 18. I couldn't make my mind up. I feel like this is probably gonna be game bat from what I've learned most of the time. Possibly maybe some kids that like this. Like I said, I didn't get these just for Cody. I got them for the whole team. I like the team and I like to win. If we need two new bats to win, that's what we're gonna do. It's just the way I am. I like to win, whatever it takes. Uh, so, but I really, I think this goods is gonna be a little more end weighted, maybe a little harder to get around. I don't know, man, Cody's going you know we're gonna get in the cage and test, but look at the barrel. If y'all can see that in the difference, this sucker here's got a lot of meat on it. I don't know if that's going to help if you miss it a little bit, miss the really good part of the bat and get down in here. It's still got some pop. We're going to see. But we got a 28. Boy, this thing here, <laughs> this little CF, they say this bat's been around a long time, really, really proven. And it does feel good. And uh, But the goods, you can feel it. You can feel there's a little more weight out here. I just don't want him to, I think with his other goods bat that is a 30, uh, he drags it through so it's just not as quick. But there's maybe some kids on the team that really like that. So we're going to play with that. But I'm going to bet you this is probably, uh, I don't really, I don't think I'm going to let Cody beat this one to death in the cage because they say it comes apart, but they say while it lasts, it is bad. So it feels good too. I bet you they can whoop this thing around. I'm excited about this little piece, but I bet you if this thing's as hot as the uh, 21 version, this is gonna be bad too. So, and it says on here, and, and oh yeah, this is this one is an, uh, the uh the barrel is all aluminum alloy probably gonna sound different oh uh, this is gonna be a composite i think oh uh, kind of a mixture of the two i don't know there's so much different stuff out here than it used to be i'm having to learn and this is the only way to learn that i know of is put them in cody's hands because each kid is different if if two or three kids or one kid likes this one it's worth it to me if one or two likes this and that thing knock in the win and run it's worth it that's all i got to say so we'll be testing them we live will probably be testing them this evening but uh i'm kind of a sucker when it comes to equipment too oh bobo's getting to be a mess already but anyway we had a pretty good day today went down to mississippi did a little walking got a camera up boy i feel pretty good today I'm a little sore, but that's to be expected after walking a little bit. We stretch out. I got to get back home and do my rehab in a little while. I hadn't been back in and sat still long enough for that. I got to go with Cody right now. The rain has set in, but uh, about to have to call it a day on this one, y'all. Pretty good day. Oh, yeah, we went and did a little baseball bat shopping. And I actually got some stuff in the mail a while ago, some little simple stuff that I think is going to help my video and better on my hunting stuff. And maybe more than that, too. I'll have to show y'all that maybe tomorrow. But anyway, call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. You know what I got to do. What I have got to do. Where is it? Right there. Always make.
make me a note before I go. I got to get to uh, today's uh, Bible verse. I'm going to wait till I get parked to do that. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I got Cody home. It's pouring down, or it's going to start back pouring. He's trying to feed the dogs real quick. Let's get to today's Bible verse. I almost forgot. Uh, we are on a new word. The word is good. Genesis chapter 1, verse 18. And to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.